Let's have a gun and we're back. Play. Let's go. Looks like we found the entrance. Oh, looks like we did. It's locked. Oh, nice. It's dark. An unlocking job. Very oh. handy. Teach no me, teach me, now, teach me. But if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the okay, castle. Cool. Revelio. That all unlock like a lot of stuff. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. How about a vacuum? Weaver. So the brooms are just now yeah, they're moving the dust, but it's just going right back. It'll look cool, I know. What the hell's going on over there on the floor? What the shit? Light. Now, I've noticed like some issues with like the lighting in this game. Rebellion. Once again, not like anything, like not bad there. You know. Welcome Rebellion. to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Oh, what Professor the hell? Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. Huh? We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins Told were aware them, of my dude. vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded okay. to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what Are you see. chilling and talking? That's cool. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, the however, a keeper. you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of... Yes, sir. Then, that said, be careful. I will, yeah. sir. Rebellion. Oh. A right. reservoir of ancient magic. Could go talk to Downstairs, the near the entry. Oh, of course. Oh, it's a level three. The lighting, dude. What the... Oh. Mark the drop is 13 hours into the game. It's so damn dark. And now we probably should use whatchamacallit. That. Where even is it? Lumos. Revelio, Lumos. I got a piece of like wizard gear that just has like Lumos on it. Like uh, Skyrim and Oblivion. That's one game I really want to do a playthrough of Oblivion. I've, I've played through it probably like or three times in my life and oblivion is one of my all-time favorite games but i've seen this playthrough of it would be so long Gringons and the restricted section i also want to do fallout 3 
Should do Fallout 4 because I started one, but I'd have to restart it again. That thing. I did. I forget. I never even made it to Diamond City in Fallout 4, but unlike the Xbox, because I played it when it first came out. Then somehow I lost the disc after I moved. I couldn't continue. Like, I have the case, but I don't know where the hell the disc is. And then, I think like a couple years ago, which I think it was like in 2020, I bought it on PC and I think it was on like a $5 Steam deal. That must and then have I got, something. I played a lot around. of it, but I haven't really beaten it. But I think it's on Game Pass. That might be cool to do that. I don't know. We'll see. I thought Fallout 4 was pretty cool. Fallout 3 is awesome. New Vegas is awesome. 76 cringe, but maybe not. I keep hearing 76 is like actually a real video game now. One buddy was saying try and play it, but it's just hard playing like that kind or like they've just made it so hard to play. Like, oh, we can't go to the gear option yet. It's the map. I mean, it's so damn hard to play because it's so like it's just hard to keep up with each other. Because I still don't think I don't. I mean, maybe they've changed it. I feel like when I played it, when it was like free to play or some shit before it was on Game Pass. Uh, it's like hard to keep on the same quest kind of thing as like the person you're playing with the norm as hell that's why I kind of wanted to play it solo but then at the same time kind of whack Lumos. Oh, I'll see Is this the way we came from? Whoa. That's cool as hell though. Lumos. The big statue, I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight it. Yeah, the magic's leading towards it. Maybe these statues too. Probably not gonna I could see the usefulness of having yeah. I'll have to next time we level up or remember to I'll put uh we'll do, cause then just switch between pages kind of thing. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Revelio. We have to fight this statue. Oh, the door is open now. Also, this crap gear. This looks so cool. <laughs> Revelio. Are we gonna have to like fight all these things on like the way out kind of thing or something? He's a never a welcome oh, well. sight. Are they not like that? To expect this time. 
Do we? Because I don't. I have to use the magic, ancient magic thing. Rebellion. We're getting better the more we do combat. Oh, this is going to be annoying. What have the keepers planned for me? Is it timed? Did it the trick. Revelio. Does. Akio. Captain, I just put water in there. That's clean water, dog. Why are you being like this? You're like the girl from Signs. You know you lick your own ass, right? It's like literally I emptied the water that was in there and then put new water in. It's <laughs> funny, dog. I once. He's so fun. I don't know why he started doing this thing. He'll like walk up to you, turn around, and he'll like rub his butt on you. Like the his like thighs, because it's like I don't know why he likes his like the middle part of his thighs on his back just rubbed. <laughs> it's so fun. What yeah, that put up a video of it do? on Instagram. One Perhaps day. I should examine things from both sides. <laughs> he of looks the so dumb because he like. It's like basically like moves his butt back and forth trying to get you to rub his to like die. What? Okay, I'm trying to play Harry Potter. The whole time he's just wagging his tail too. He knows what he's doing, huh? Captain. <laughs> You're funny dog cat. Funny boy. Huh? Funny boy dog. <laughs> The room Fine. changes when I move in. Do we have to do this? Like what? Akio. Oh, we probably have to go to the other side.
Or not. I can see a way out on one side, but when I pass through the archway, it's blocked by a wall. Oh, because it's... Yeah, we have to go from the other... Oh. Well, we did More it. statues. Not sure when the mobile groomer people are supposed to come, but he needs it. Just because it's. Do you have a dog? I mean, no one's listening to this, but if you have a dog, I guess even cat, some kind of pet, definitely look into mobile grooming. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's way better for your pet. It's like when we take. Yanni and Captain to uh, we haven't in like a couple of years now that uh, it takes like literally all day I don't know what the hell you like my, my mom will like run them over there at like 9 a.m. and then they'll like have to go back at like 4 or 5 p.m. kind of like I don't know what the hell is going on you know I'm sure the dogs don't like it because they're just like how like just for hours but then the mobile grooming thing like you know like we have two dogs so we wait for one gets to wait in the house while the other one and it takes like 45 minutes or an hour to like do everything kind of thing you know so it's like when i feel like it's like especially since captain's an older dog and i feel like it's way less stressful Especially for him being older, and then even with Johnny Little Dog. Then you have to worry about, well, are they, like, well, however many hours you're spending at the groomers, are they stuck in a kennel or whatever? Cage? Or even if they're with, like, I mean, they'd probably like it if they were out with, like, other dogs and stuff. But. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Oh, is it gonna be like one way to? Oh, so then that's okay. Wait a minute. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? I mean, clearly, like Something this whole must be area different. is gone. How do we? Gonna be we have to adjust the platform. Oh wait, no, we can just jump up here. Akio. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Oh, so then now it'll that platform will be like this whole thing. Wait, how do I make it there? Now it'll be on the other side, right? Yeah. 
Okay, but now how do we get to this side? So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. I mean, we did that. Oh, I forgot this one. No, I thought this was like in a different position. Akio! Oh, that's close. <laughs> I'll never get used to these floors. Right? That's like so crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. But really cool. Like a fighting area. Good <laughs> Incendio. Whoa, see, I didn't see any warning from that guy. Alright, uh, that one in the back got correct. The little guys can do it? I thought it was just the big dudes. Oh, there's ones over there? What the? That was like lucky timing. I did not mean to do that. Dude, what? It's so stupid that they like they can dot like. That lunge goes all that way. And it's like tracking. Rebellion. I mean, I get that's like how they can make them. Because I mean, otherwise they'd be pretty useless. <laughs> but that's just like mega cheap. Oh great, more platinum or do the room twice. Akio. Nah, <laughs> you just die if you go there? Oh, wait. Can I pull the platform through? Akio. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. But for trash. Ah, 
Things are definitely different on either side of the archway. Can't jump but how? Okay. some secret stuff over there. Yeah, we're going to do a new recording here. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.